guys and hello fellow fun girls and boys in today's video i'm doing a 2021 update of heart evangelista's fragrance favorites so back in april heart did a closet tour video and on part two she talked about her current favorite perfumes if you've watched my smell like heart video parts one and two you'd know that some are repeat fragrances this must be fragrances she loves and can never be without so without further ado let's jump right to the fragrances Penhaligon's Luna. So this remains to be Heart's top one favorite perfume. This was her wedding day fragrance. This has a sparkling citrus aromatic opening. The juniper berries boozy gin-like quality comes through very distinctly towards the middle, paving the way to lovely florals in the heart. I love how this scent develops as it warms up in the skin. This gets sweeter yet still demure as this dries down. Um, this is full bottle worthy in my honest opinion. A wedding day worthy scent as well. A daytime date fragrance as well. I wish this brand is more accessible to us here in the Philippines. I do know that Adora PH carries this brand on the Penhaligon's website. A 30ml bottle retails for 60 British pounds. There are some retailers in Shopee.com as well as on Instagram who sell full bottles of Penhaligons locally. So check this one out if you haven't done so. Penhaligons Luna. Heart Evangelista's top two is by Mugler and this is Angel Eau de Toilette. What I have here is the 2019 Eau de Toilette reformulation. This one is way more wearable than the older versions including the version that Heart Evangelista currently wears. This too is a standing star version, more convenient to display. I got this fairly recently from Fresh Perfume Store. They have both a physical store and an online website which you can shop from. I think I also saw this in Landmark and Robinson's department store. This 30ml bottle retails for 2,870 pesos. This go on discount from time to time. So if you like Angel but can't seem to wear it, try this one out. This is a modern, fruitier, fresher take on the original while retaining that lovely dirty the patchouli praline in the dry down this is the only angel formulation that doesn't give me a headache not high heat friendly still but wearable daytime in aircon environment and for gloomy rainy tropical weather days or as Hart said for trips to baguio city if you're from the philippines so this is mugler angel eau de toilette the 2019 reformulation her number three favorite is Tova Beverly Hills Eau de Parfum. So I have it here in a small decant. This is an oldie but a goodie. I believe this came out in 1982. I first heard Chris Aquino talk about this in her channel. This might be a cult favorite among the celebrities locally. So this is probably the only powdery fragrance I like very much. This reminds me of a clean, comforting baby powder scent popular during the 80s to the 90s this definitely leans feminine as this is a powdery sweet but not over the top this is a perfect out of the shower perfume smells a little like body lotion as well or body butter or some sort of fresh body product scent that you put on after a shower this is a very humid weather friendly this will repel any bad smell from sweating in the heat the entire day i personally really like this this projects moderately on me last like an eau de parfum about five to six hours i don't think this is available everywhere heart did mention that this is available in green hills i haven't been lately because of covid restrictions i believe the price of a full bottle va varies from five thousand to seven thousand five hundred pesos depending on where you get this from i got this decan from a shopee store i will leave a link in the description below if ever you would like to try before you buy a full bottle if you like baby powder clean smelling scents you will most likely like this one a lot this is tova beverly hills eau de parfum this next one is a repeat item in her list i believe she will always have this perfume and this is by tartine et chocolate and this is called 
Tea Sen Bon. This smells very soft, pleasant, light, and fresh. A very simple linear scent which smells clean and comforting. Great for young children or parents of babies and toddlers who may want to wear a scent that isn't going to irritate the little one. This will keep you smelling fresh even in the heat and humidity and will kind of remind you of baby colognes. My daughter owns this, owns this bottle. I got this from the Givenchy counter at Robinson's department store and this was on sale last time. I think this 50 ml bottle retails for under 3,000 pesos. So that's Tis and Bon by Tartin et Chocolat. This next one is another old perfume. So this is called Signorina by Salvatore Ferragamo. This came out in 2011 and I have here a mini. So this came as a surprise to me. So looking at the bottle, I was positive that this isn't going to be my vibe. But what got me is that fabulous panacotta note in here. This is a floral fruity fragrance with a lovely sweet creamy slightly powdery dry down. Not too sure whether to call this a gourmand or not. This just has enough sweetness to wet your appetite and smell yummy. This is demure, feminine and chic, not at all cheap smelling. I can imagine um, somebody who loves Cloud by Ariana Grande loving this too. They don't smell the same but they give off a similar sweet and youthful vibe. I will pick this one over Cloud though because this doesn't have that sharpness uh, that Cloud has and this isn't too loud or too in your face on that sugary sweetness. But this is totally unforgettable, just the same. I think this is an underrated gem and definitely full bottle worthy in my opinion. Not the best for lasting though. This is gone by the fourth hour mark, but a bottle of 30 ml of this costs about 3,700 pesos. So I, th I guess it's totally worth respraying. So this also gets discounted frequently. So watch out for oncoming sales in your local department stores. So this is Signorina by Salvatore Ferragamo. Check this one out for that lovely panacotta note. So the next one is uh, Maison Francis Cardigan Baccarat Rouge 540 Heart owns the Extrait de Parfum version of this popular, very hype fragrance. I think this will go on to become a classic and I can imagine the next generation frag heads talking about this in their time. Anyhow, this is the more feminine leaning version of the two. A sweeter, saffrony scent, more nutty, almondy in my opinion. Great for lasting also great for layering this version works well on my skin the eau de parfum which my husband owns and love unfortunately doesn't work for me but this one this one does i get the hype around this fragrance it's totally worth every penny per ml of this perfume as this lasts a good 12 hours on skin if you've never smelled this before head on to rustan's department store this brand goes on discount from time to time so i believe this deserves a spot in one's collection baccarat rouge 540 extrait de parfum Another MFK fragrance and was also in her previous fragrance favorites video is this one called Gentle Fluidity Gold. If you've smelled Intense Cafe by Montal, it's this minus the coffee note. They do approach a point where you can't tell them apart so much uh, towards the middle to the dry down. They differ in price though. Montal retails for half the price of this one. This is definitely a colder weather fragrance. Trust me, this is going to choke you out in the day time heat and the Philippines. So this is an ambery, musky, vanilla offering, powdery in the dry down. I have a full bottle of a similar smelling fragrance called Night's Bridge Club from Surge Off. So this is a hard pass for me. But this one is a big compliment getter. Very, very wearable for vanilla lovers out there. One of Heart's ultimate favorite, Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Cardichan. So Chanel number no. five was in Hearts' free previous favorites uh, list as well, but this one she featured in 
the recent video is the low version of Chanel number no. 5 which to me is much more wearable I have a carded sample here which I've tried so I remember saying in my previous heart video that I could not even spray much less wear the original number no. 5 by Chanel but this one is a modern take on the original this still smells very clean and powdery and retro but they added in some brightness to this fragrance this smell uplifted and more luminous I should say I think this is worth owning a bottle if you love Chanel number no. 5 but couldn't wear it if you love to be reminded of how it smells as well but would like a 21st century updated version this here is for you I kind of like this now would even consider wearing this but perhaps and I'm saying this again when I'm a little older maybe I would learn how to rock this fragrance but for now I will keep to my Coco Mademoiselle the fragrance mist version and last, the heart mentioned Nina by Nina Ricci. This wasn't in her previous favorites. I have here a sample vial. So this is a sweet, fruity, floral fragrance. Uncomplicated, very easy to wear, casual, and girly. This opens with a fresh lemon-lime scent becoming sweeter towards the middle to the dry down. This smells a little shampoo-y to me as well. And the fruits in here are candied or sweetened or caramelized, making this smell a little sticky in high heat. Great for daily casual wear, nothing offensive, not the best for lasting. This lasts under 4 hours on me, this being an eau de toilette, that's not too surprising. So this one honestly is quite underwhelming to me. I don't find this very interesting to wear. This doesn't scream full bottle as well, but you know, that's just me. So head on to the Nina Ricci counter at Rustan department store if you're looking to sample this this retails for 4,300 pesos for a 50 ml bottle there you have it an updated heart evangelista fragrance favorites I am definitely thinking about getting signorina in the smallest a bottle maybe Tova eau de parfum if that's not too hard to find nowadays and of course I am still saving up for a full bottle of Luna by Penhaligons as well as Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum so these four fragrances are my top picks from this list let me know down in the comments below what your personal favorites are are you looking to try any from this list sometime soon that's it for today guys i would love it if you like and share this video subscribe if you haven't done so it will help my visibility in this platform a lot opt as well to click on the notification bell to see some or all future uploads in the future and with that i thank you all again very much for joining me today stay safe and fragrant bye for now